Hey guys, today we get back to the word space mapping topic to discuss a very common and useful application in game development. Triplanar mapping is often used in shaders applied to landscapes or other very big meshes used to build the game world. The base concept of this technique is very simple. Blend together three different world mappings accordingly to the vertex normals. This means that as first step we have to generate all the UVs we want to include. Then decide which one to use for every pixel, basing our decision on how much its normal vector is looking in the projection directions. So, as just said, let's build our triplanar UVs. Since in this case we want to map along the world axis, we can simply generate the three UV data we need by simply stripping one channel each from the world position. Now we have to create a mask for each mapping. Since our UVs are aligned to the world, we can know how much the normal is pointing towards a world axis by simply isolating its respective component. As you can see, each channel gives us a gradient that goes from minus 1 to 1, where 1 means facing that mapping, 0 means not facing that mapping, minus 1 means facing in the opposite direction. In this case, since we want to select a mapping in both facing to and facing in the opposite direction cases, we can remove the sign. Now that we know how much every pixel is facing every mapping we have created, we can simply take the higher value as mask. To do something like that, we can identify a color for each mapping and mask it with that data. Now that we have every pixel colored with the color of the mapping it's facing the most, we can mask its channels to obtain the masks. Last step is to use the masks on the UVs we generated at the beginning and add everything up. In this case, blending everything this way works because we know the masks don't overlap and have binary values. The multiplication puts a zero where we don't want that mapping, so with addition every other value placed there is retained as it is. This of course is cheaper than a linear interpolation or an if statement. Now that we finally have our UBs, we can use them to sample a texture.
As you may have noticed, our result displays some very ugly scene where the different mappings meet. A second thing you may have noticed, if you already have some familiarity with the triple anar mapping, is that we're sampling the texture just once. In fact, this isn't the most common way to implement it, but depending on the texture you have to map, you could be fine with the sims and obtain the same result in a far cheaper way. Anyways, the sims can be eliminated with a slight change to the algorithm, at the cost of increased instruction count and texture lookups. Essentially, we need to transform the masks from binary to a smooth gradient we can use to blend the different projections. This can be achieved with the substitution of the if statements with a remapping of the difference between the gradient. In this way, we obtain the same masks as before, but we have the possibility to control their smoothness. Now, as I was anticipating, we have a problem. We can't simply interpolate the UVs as we did before, since in the transition values we would break the mapping continuity. Sadly, this is something that can't be avoided, and the only way to have a correct result is to sample the texture we want to map once for each projection. The interpolation is now made after the sampling and not before, as in the previous case. This is the most basic setup of multiplanar mapping, and there are many corrections, variations and features that could be added to it, depending on the use cases. I already shown some of them in one of my previous videos, but there are many more, which will be discussed in future videos.